Under the theme celebrating our culture, a commitment to peace, this year's independence will honor 41 cultural icons. Those who, v e like Prime Minister Perry Christie has pointed out, provided us the perfect mix of history and talent. Among the honorees are legendary Bahamian playwright and thespian James Catlin and artist, j u n k a n u e r and local cartoonist Stan Burnside, who say they're both pleased and humbled to be considered part of Bahamian history and folklore. I feel very honored at the distinction, especially coming at this time of year, the 41st anniversary of us being an independent Bahamas.、Uh, much has transpired over the years. and I know of some of the struggles that、uh, we had to go through to achieve independence. I am very, very honored to be considered a cultural warrior. I know that、uh, we probably have more warriors in the Bahamas per capita. So while I'm humbled by being、uh, chosen as one of the uh, uh, 41, there's so many more who. Uh, deserving and could have been chosen instead of me. When asked about the evolution of Bahamian culture, Mr. Catlin says there's been noticeable progress, but that Bahamians have become too acclimated to external influences. Little wonder why he's hoping that one day there's a ministry established solely for honoring Bahamian culture. I think that over the years, we, and with the exposure that a lot of us have had, I, I, I think we have、um, moved ahead. I know in the area of John Canoe, and John Canoe, they have、um, uh, truly moved ahead in what they're doing. In the theater, I, I think we have made achievements, even though much more can be done. I would like、um, eventually to see a ministry、uh, dedicated to culture and culture only, as they do in other countries, and not be tied in with another ministry. Because over the years, a cultural ministry has not stood on its own. Mr. Burnside will tell you the Bahamas is well on its way to true worldwide prominence and that the traditional and most recognized form of our cultural expression, Junk Canoe, could potentially catapult this small chain of islands to stardom. We have become such a powerful nation in terms of our culture. You know, that my brother once said famously. That by the year 2020, more visitors will come to the Bahamas for our culture than for sun, sand, and sea. And I think we're well on our way to realize that dream because I think that we are sitting on a gold mine with this thing called Junkanoo. In fact, I would say that our art system has the potential to do even greater things. Than reggae has done for Jamaica. Both men agree that in order for the Bahamas to continue to rise to prominence, young Bahamians need to become more involved in their culture. I think that we have to realize the potential that you know,、uh, young Bahamians have to produce and to uh, 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 create industry through their、uh, native talents. I think, and elsewhere, I think we all right now we become, we become very mercenary in those areas, and everyone wants to get rich quick and overnight. Culture isn't like that. It shouldn't be like that. We must be involved in aspects of our culture for the pure love of it. Nico Scavella, JCN News.